Welcome back to channel everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can move documents from one document library to other document library using Power Automate. It could be based on some conditions or it could be a flat move. Here in my case, I have a source library and I have uploaded all these documents in bulk and the status of these documents by default set to the running. What I want if the status of these documents change from running to retire, that particular document will be moved out here in my destinations library. So how we can achieve that using Power Automate? I'm in my Power Automate create section. I'll click on this instant flow. I'm going to skip this step. Put my flow and name. Move files and trigger point for me will be a schedule one on the recurrence. I want to run this every day. You can set up according to your requirement. You can set this up if the item changed or if the new item created is up to you how you want it. Next step what I'm going to perform here is get file property. Properties only and select the source site URL source library name library name is source library and all are these other columns just optional one so the next step what i'm going to do is in this control one apply to each because i want to move the this conditions to be each and every item and from here dynamic content get the values of a list of item which we're getting from the get files one once we are here I will now apply a condition control condition and uh, one thing to remember is that on the status one we have to select the status value now the status one if the status value is equal to retire then I'll go in my yes section I'm gonna select the copy file options from the SharePoint copy file current site URL file to copy will be a file identifier this one and the destination site address is same for us and only the library name will be changed as a destination library and if another file is already there you can select what action you're going to perform either with the copy with the new names or replace so i'm going to select the replace if there is already an item exist just replace this one and if this condition fail send notifications to my email saying that subject is the id and in the body your action failed and I think we're good to go here I'll just click on this save here so I'll go in my this uh, source library now and try to change some of the documents status from running to retire and uh, we'll see that so we've changed for two document and uh, that is no document right now I'll go in this my flow and try to run this one and I can see it's in running stage 
now you can see that uh, flow is successful i'll check in my library here so we can see there is two document which we have changed status to retire abc and the user one is here the next thing what i'm going to do is i'm going to create one folder here and will be a test one and inside the test now change the status of this one as in retire and see if this inside folder documents move or not say this retire there is no document with use for we have to resubmit our flow let's just wait it's to get completed so now flow is successful i'll go and check in my destination library there you can see that the user for document is here which we have just talked about here and also one thing you can see that is uh, it just have uh, you know replace all these previous one also so every time when i uh, you know run the schedule one it goes for each and every one in my this particular source library and can check the status and then move that particular documents to my destinations one and one shot and one more thing is that after moving this document you can delete this particular one by putting just simple and delete command over there and it will sort out everything's for you so i hope you like this video if you do like don't forget to subscribe learn tech thank you so much for watching